Hey, what's up guys? First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this particular video is brought to you by these guys. Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked are the world leaders in at-home health testing, covering the US, UK and Ireland. Let's Get Checked covers sexual health, women's health, men's health, wellness, and believe it or not, even the coronavirus. How it works can be broken down into eight easy steps. Number one, you order the test. Number two, the test ships directly to your door the very next day. You can even track the test from dispatch to delivery. Step three, activate your test with a quick health survey on the Let's Get Checked app. Number four, collect your sample when it's convenient for you. There's no doctor's appointments or lab queues. This service works around you. Step five, return the sample for testing using a prepaid shipping label provided. And once again, full tracking is available from door to door. Step six, and this is an easy one, you wait for your results, usually within two days, if not a maximum of five business days. Step seven, a physician will review your results and a nurse will contact you to discuss the results and any next steps if necessary. And step number eight, regardless of your treatment plan, your results will always be available in the app, meaning your results and your health are in your hands. So by all means, head down into the description box below, click the link, use discount code JAKE30 for 30% off. Look after yourself, guys, and enjoy the video. Peace. Sup guys, welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host Jacob McDonald and today we move into the teens. It is number 19 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2021. His name is Buda Baker. He plays for the Cardinals. And I hate to cut his lunch, but the only reason I really knew of Buda Baker is due to the fact that the Cardinal indeed did get chased down by the Seahawk. And when you think about that, it's a pretty good analogy, isn't it? Buda Baker, obviously a gun safety. He's clearly a great defender just couldn't quite get the pick six over the line anyway this video is certainly not about dk this is about buda baker let's give him his props where they're due more importantly uh let's roll the intro and crack into it Speaking of giving the man the props he deserves, let's look at his stats first. He's 5'10", 195 pounds, picked up in the second round of the 2017 draft to the Cardinals. He was a first team All-Pro participant in his rookie year, had a couple years off, made it back in this past year. Three-time Pro Bowler, 2017, 19 and 20. He's got a 40-yard dash uh, recorded as 4.45 seconds, a three-cone drill of 6.76, which is bloody elite. Vertical jump, 32.5, broad jump, 9 foot 7, bench press effort of 15 reps, and a Wonderlick score of 14. And uh, look, actually, there is an external video link to Buda Baker running his 4.45 second 40-yard dash. Let's have a look. Hello? No, that's not going to work. That's right. Um, okay, so it seems the Arizona Cardinals really wanted Baker. They selected him in the second round with the 36th overall pick. But the Cardinals, to get that pick, traded their second round 45th overall, 4th round 119th overall, and 7th round 197th overall picks in the 2017 draft to the Bears in order to move up in the second round and draft Baker with the 36th overall pick. So they already had a 45th overall pick, but just to make sure, they traded up, got Baker, signed him to a four-year, $6.83 million contract. And three short years later, on August 25th last year, prior to the start of the season, he signed a four-year, $59 million extension with the Cardinals, making him the highest paid safety in NFL history at the time, earning just shy of $15 million a year. Funnily enough, in his 2020 season paragraph here, they do mention, they do make mention of the, uh, the, the, the well, they call it an interception. They don't mention DK Metcalf, but they do say, for anyone wondering, in week seven against the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday night football, Baker recorded a team high 14 tackles and intercepted a pass thrown by Russell Wilson during the 37-34 overtime win. So there's absolutely no mention of getting chased down, but there is one um, funny little statement here, and that is that Baker's mother started calling him Buddha as a baby since his mother thought he looked like a Buddha doll. And when we look at Buddha Baker's eyes, you know, the eyes are the thing on the human face that don't change, right? They develop in that first, you know, six months to a year, but then they don't change. Everything else forms around it. Everything else grows and, you know, they grow into certain features, but the eyes remain the same. And when we think about Buddha Baker's eyes, there really is no surprise that his mother thought he looked like Buddha. Makes sense. 
Makes a lot of sense. 61 total games played in four seasons. In 2019, this man got over 100 solo tackles. That's incredible. He got 90 solo tackles last year. So 61 games, 4-4-1 combined tackles, 330 solo, 111 assisted, 5.5 sacks, 20 passes deflected, 2 interceptions for 90 return yards, which we saw most of in that play. 5 forced fumbles, 4 fumble recoveries, and back in 2018, he took one of those fumble recoveries to the house. He is an absolute tackling machine. He plays safety, and his name is Buda Baker. It's time we have a look. I remember him being talked about as being the best defensive player we were going to play against all year. Look at that. Now that, my friends, is a real success. I mean, let's be fair. You make it on the list, you're in the top 6% of the league. You make it in the top 20, you're in the top 1%. So he's leveled up, certainly leveled up. Who do you think is the top player in the league at your position? At my position, yeah. I would say Buda Baker is. Um, that's who I would say. And tell me why. Because he's just versatile. One play, he's blitzing. He makes 15 tackles a game. Off the edge. Another play, he's covering a receiver. The next play, he's covering the tight end. Just all around type of player that I am. So much passion for the game. You gotta wrap up. Yeah, I would say me. One of my favorite players right now in the NFL is Buda Baker. I think he's a very old school player, the way that he throws his body around and he doesn't use the excuse that he might be the shortest guy in the field, but he's going to be the most physical and he's going to be the fastest guy. He's going to attack him every single snap. And that's what I love about him. He's just got a reckless abandonment for his body. I've just seen about five different tackling techniques and I like them all. And it's Buda Baker on the safety blitz. That man Buda, good job. That boy Buda. You better get your ass down. I, honestly, I think Buda is the best safety in the game. I mean, there's multiple times when we played him where, I mean, our plays were literally designed to find Buda and make sure that he can't run. How did he get past Jusik in that first instance? The best safety in the game. I mean, there's multiple. We've got Jusik out front. We've got the running back, well, quite possibly the quarterback behind him. Now, all, now, all Jusik really needs to do. Multiple times when we play. Well, all he needs to do is get this block, but Buda Baker's got another idea. Played him where, I mean, our plays were literally designed to. Not only that, but not only does he swipe past with ease, but in the same motion, he literally dives and gets hands on the quarterback. Look at this. Swipes past, takes two steps, and dives. I mean, our plays were literally designed to find Buda. Puts his body on the line. At the end of the day, that's what it is and make sure that he can't run down and make the play down the field. He's legit everywhere. And he doesn't just blitzes off the edge. He puts through B gap, C gap, A gap, opposite side. You know, he, he do a lot of stuff. I like him, and he, he can come up and hit you, too. Buda Baker fires the gun right through the B gap. So you get a safety who's 5'10", coming up against a quarterback who's 6'6". And what you get is a mean hit right in his stomach. It's going to fold him in half. Like a torpedo, he came flying into the backfield and smoked Andy Dalton. My favorite play was probably my first iron. How tall is Andy Dalton? 6'2". So really, everything I just said doesn't make sense. But it was a nice, and thankfully legal, hit on the quarterback. T versus Andy Dalton. Now what my was favorite fa play was probably my first INT versus uh, Dallas. It was 3 by one once I see three go shallow, I take my eyes to two. Two's doing a shallow route as well. I jump the shallow route and pick it off. Over the middle, picked off! Intercepted by Baker at the 15, gets up and runs! Definitely was my first interception, so that had to be my, my favorite play. But his second interception might have been the most tough. Hang on. Before we watch the second interception, I need to know... By Baker at the oh, I jump. I need to know what happened with this fella. Nothing, I guess. The shallow route and pick it off. Over the middle, picked off! Intercepted by... There he is up top of your screen. Baker at the 15, gets up and runs! Definitely was my first interception, so that had to be my, my favorite play. But his second interception might have been the most talked about play of the season. You know, it's a very long drive. Next thing you know, they break the Look, I'll, I'll, give him, I'll give him that. I don't know exactly how long the drive was, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. See Russell Wilson. 
feel like he's getting ready to throw it to that running back. Got a pick. I'm just running like in my nice stride. And then I look up at the Jumbotron and I see this guy coming after me. By that time, he was, he was too close. He tackled me. I mean, I was going 21 plus. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, I've never been caught from behind. How'd he catch my ass? What the? I'm at a red light. Next thing you know, I, I'm see like this. So I look over, and it's DK. <laughs> it was random. Like I, I pulled up beside him. Oh, what? <laughs> After the game? You're kidding me. What are they gonna do? Race, race again? What's it gonna be? Fast and Furious? Cardinal versus Seahawk Two? A race to the death? This story gets better and better. And I was like, is that Buddha? <laughs> but just know that Buddha Baker got that interception, and we won the game. <laughs> And at the end of the day, that is all Wikipedia tells us. Uh, Baker recorded a team-high 14 tackles, intercepted a pass thrown by Russell Wilson, and won the game, 37-34. So uh, I reckon we're going to leave it at that. And in the next video, we're looking at a quarterback to Sean Watson. So, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, that'd be amazing. Hit the notification bell to be informed whenever I drop a video. Or not, it's completely up to you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.